I, I, I can say this. <clears throat> Just like MD said, it is not my intent, nor do I have the right to persuade, which I don't. I just tell you how I look at things. I don't try to tell people, uh, don't believe in Allah. I don't tell people, I've never said, I don't talk like that. I don't never tell people, don't listen to the Honorable Minister Farrakhan or whoever. I don't talk that way. But there are those of us who have outgrown those things. And that's who I'm looking for. That's who's attracted to me. Those who have gone beyond those things. We talked about that tonight. Religion, spirituality has been on this planet and we've been practicing that for thousands of years. And it should have by this time caused us to become a righteous people. It has failed. It's simple as that. That's why I exist, because it has it has failed. And we talk about what the ancestors done. And we even talk about what Africans done in the past or even now. And we want to hold on because they did it. Well, those there are Africans, certain dark-skinned people on this planet, they believe in human sacrifice. You want to do that too? Because they've done it. There are those who practice cannibalism. You want to do that too? There are African women who come to this nation talking about their vaginas was, was uh, sold up. You want to do that too? Those people practice all kinds of stuff under religion. Well, actually, it's spirituality as far as they're concerned. You want to do that too? Just because a people practice and done something don't mean that it was good. Even though it did help because we had our freedom fighters like Harriet Tubman, she believed in God. As Marcus Garvey and a lot of us, we believed in God and it helped to get them through. That was their time and they needed it. They didn't have no other understanding. This is 2023. We have a different understanding. When you look at the word spiritual, the first part of the word, what is it called? The prefix is spirit. Then the rest of the word is ritual. Spirit is the essence of the dead person. The essence of the deceased, that's a spirit. Then you have ritual, which is the worship. Spirituality has its origins in worship of the dead, the demonic. The afterworld. That's where that's where the, that's where it gets its origins from. Fear of death. Fear of death of the unknown. That's where it comes from. A belief system. Things that's not real. And people use these things because they didn't know and have nothing. Their understanding didn't have nothing, no better. Like they always talk about what Malcolm X, Malcolm X said this, Malcolm X only knew what he knew at that particular point. His knowledge stopped February the 24th, 1965. That was the end. He didn't, he didn't live to 2023. We don't know how Malcolm X or what Malcolm X would do in 2023. We don't know that because people change. I come from the same house. I come from the same place. I was raised in the Baptist church. Then I convert, was converted to Islam. I come from the same place. I, I know exactly how you feel. I know how they do, how they think. But there was something, my incarceration caused a light to come on. And now I began to see things much, much differently. And the same strength that people need spirituality for, I don't need that. What does it says in the scriptures? It talks about the Jesus. It talks about only the sick need a doctor. I'm not sick like that no more. I don't need that. I don't need a crutch no more. I can walk on my own. I don't need a crutch. These are crutches. 
Spirituality is man-made. Men made that up. That's not natural. There's no baby born that talk about I'm spiritual. One of my favorite movies is the, the Blue Lagoon. I love that movie. I talk about it all the time because it's a good example. These children didn't have an opportunity to be influenced by religion and spirituality. They were stuck on an island and they learned how to survive. And God didn't help them. No spirituality helped them. They was children. And when they came into pu a puberty, they just naturally learned how to deal with it. They ended up even having a baby. They learned, they found out what sex was and had a baby and all that. There was no parents. There was no spirituality. There was no Bible. There was nothing. It was just them and the wild animals on the island. And they learned because that's life. Spirituality and religion, all these things, is, is man-made where somebody dictate to you how you should act and how to think. Tell you what to believe in. There's no child that's born that's a Muslim, naturally Muslim. All these things are man-made condition. And what about men? These are some corrupt men. These are people that exploit you. Yes, I, you know, I use a lot of faith. I understand how people feel because I was there myself. I use Allah had faith in Allah, and I believed in Jesus at, at one time. We needed it, but that's all I knew. But now the time has come that all those things has to pass away, even according to the scriptures, even in the Bible. The Bible talks about the new heaven and new earth, new earth and the former things shall pass away. You don't need those things no more. They need to, they need to pass away. They are they they've a hindrance. How can you explain to me four billion people spiritual? They estimate four billion people who are spiritual and believe in religion. Out of the eight billion people on this planet, and you have four billion that believe in spirituality, but look at the condition of the earth, the condition of humanity. You have four billion people, and look at the condition of humanity. What does that tell us? And they've been doing this for thousands of years. That's, see, that's another thing. See, time has exposed these things. It's time for them to go. We don't need it. I don't need spirituality or religion to help me do nothing. And if you need spirituality and religion to be a good person, your righteousness and who you are, that's not real anyway. You're doing it because of because you're under a doctrine. That's not real. It's not real anyway. I don't need spirituality or no religion to give a piece of a, a hungry person a slice of bread. My brother is a Hebrew Israelite. And he told me if it wasn't for being a Hebrew Israelite, he wouldn't give no charity. He wouldn't give a damn if he starved to death. That religion gave him the reason. I said, well, that's that's fake. That's fake. If you got to need some doctrine to tell you, if you see a, a baby crying to buy him a piece of candy or a hungry person to give him a dollar, you need a religion to do that. That, that says a lot. You sick. It's not real. And that's what we talked about this earlier in the in our talk today. That the, a lot of these people are going through rituals and it looked like they are righteous. It looked like they are good. No, they just good pretending. These rituals are supposed to turn into substance. And you become that, those things. Like I use for an example of us driving a truck. When you first learn how to drive a truck, you have to think about what you're doing. First speed, second gear, a downshift, five, four, three, two. You have to think about these things for a while. But once you, once you master the ritual, pretty soon you master the truck. You don't even think about that no more. You don't think about, well, first gear, second gear, third. You just go. 